What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not because we're going to be talking about a brand new briefing that just came out today. Once again, brought to us by the very generous Kaminsky, one of the community managers at Void Interactive. This one is called Briefing 40, New Firearm Additions. Ah uh, yes, I remember talking to Navarro saying that he was going to bring in some firearms at some point and maybe this is probably going to be what he was talking about. Let's just go ahead and hop into it. It starts off by saying, Attention officers, welcome to our 40th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This week we're going to be giving our community a break from Matt and suspects. I don't know if that's a good idea because the game really could use some more maps but I guess we'll take whatever updates we can. We instead take a look at the new firearms to be added to the department armory coming in the next update. I remember Navarro saying that there was at least five guns that were going to be added in the next one so let's see what they have in store. Armory expansion. The first new weapon is the SPC in addition to the game's roster of SMGs whose claim to fame is its prodigious. Prodi Prodigious, rate of fire up to 1100 rounds per minute. Wow. Any officer that chooses to bring the SPC out into the field will have to practice careful trigger discipline and target acquisition if they want their ammunition to last throughout the entire engagement. That is a sexy looking gun, not gonna lie. Wowee. And look at all the- oh, look at this. Double attachments? This gun has like multiple attachments on it. It would be cool if we would be able to actually put multiple attachments because previously we weren't really able to do that. I would like to also have like a flashlight on the other side, which kind of looks like there might be a flashlight on the side back there, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway. Anyways, let's move on here. Next comes the M11 Compact. It stands alongside the P92X and the G19 is another longtime workhorse of multiple law enforcement agencies. Chambered in the ever-reliable 9mm, the clean lines of the M11 will fit among the pre-existing rosters of the M9s. Will fit among the pre-existing roster of Wonder 9s. This is an interesting looking pistol. I think I like the way that it looks, but it looks like the hand is clipping a little bit. Maybe I could be wrong, but I definitely can't wait to use it. Pretty awesome looking. Moving on to the next thing here. An upgrade to a classic. Next we have the MK18 whose brand new model will be replacing the legacy M4A1 model so that we can maintain a consistent look and feel for all of our weapons going forward. I'm not a fan of, you know, them getting replaced. I would prefer them to just add the newer version instead of just, you know, getting rid of the older one. I think that kind of sucks, but uh, I, I mean, this one looks pretty cool, I guess. Looks a lot smaller. By the way, what map is this in the background? Are they teasing new maps here? Just curious moving on to the next one lastly we have a weapon that's been heavily requested and that is the mp7 ah a gun community favorite being the first firearm in the pdw category pdw the mp7 brings a unique combination of capabilities between its armor piercing capability afforded by its 4.6 millimeter round and high rate of fire that every entry team would love to have at their side pretty nice pretty nice uh i dislike how they decide to replace weapons like i prefer them just to keep the old ones in the game while also adding new ones at the same time to give more variety you know but i mean that's kind of what it is i guess in conclusion this concludes our 40th bi-weekly briefing be sure to tune in next time for more development news and yeah that's pretty much all there is to see aside from the lyric kit thing but i'm not gonna look into that so i don't really care about that and uh yeah so pretty short one i was kind of hoping that they'd at least show off some new maps i mean maybe they are showing off maps behind these because i don't know what is going on in the background here like maybe this is the new agency map that they're showing off it's probably what it is this looks like it might be on um the penthouse map it kind of looks like i'm also looking at their uniforms and the uniforms don't look any different i mean this one kind of looks different but i think that's this is in the game already but yeah it looks like that's pretty much it for this update um yeah, I guess we'll go over the mini dev updates, I guess. Rapolio posted this picture here of what looks like Teresa Farms, but I could be wrong. Could also be that Coyote map that they talked about. It says something Spanish in the corner. Ojora Eras Americano deja tu pasporte y documentos que sentience agueno? Agueno? I'm not really sure what that says, but according to Google, it says, Now you are American, leave your passport and documents here if you have any. So at least we know what map it is. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of that one scene from uh, Breaking Bad, where the two twins are like walk, uh, crawling towards this shrine, and they see the picture of the poorly drawn picture of Walter White. Pretty wild. Uh, Rapolio ended up posting a picture of this. I don't know if this is a random face, or if it's somebody that's supposed to be like a bad guy at some point. It's interesting, to say the least. Hands up, this is the pumpkin police. This one was posted by Ali. If you don't remember this, this was actually posted during the multiplayer, the pumpkin head, like way back when. 
it actually came out in November. It didn't come out in October. Like they were really late with the update. So does this mean that it's going to be coming out October? The next update, possibly? We're not too sure. I assume that's what this means but who really knows it could also be november because they were pretty late on that update i remember as i was making this video zach ended up releasing a couple of things here it says this is still something highly work in progress and in its infancy but consider it a mini dev update okay cool one other thing we've been poking at is bringing back sound propagation having sounds bounce around walls versus having them play where they're actually coming from note in this video example the sound is playing around walls going to stress highly work in progress here as getting some core things in place before this will be the main focus for the next patch propagation will take a bit longer to get right too long didn't read cool sound stuff okay so let's take a look at this video here hopefully the audio's on Pretty dope, not gonna lie. And another thing that Zach posted here was another music thing here. This is apparently going to be the music that's added to the main menu. It's just gonna be another version after the first one finishes, I assume. It sounds pretty cool. I'm probably not gonna play the whole thing here, but... If you're someone that's in the NDA Discord, you'll be able to check this out. I'm sure somebody will have this on the on YouTube at some point but it sounds pretty cool not gonna lie but yeah that's pretty much all I can really got for you when it comes to ready or not news I mean there is a couple of bugs but I don't know if you really want to look at that they have one of spinning they have a guy with his head turned around I think I already showed this off in a freaking gif where he's just like shrinking and coming back there's this guy that has his torso in and out like what the hell and then there's this guy that's like reaching for a candy bar. So yeah, we went through that and we're good. So that's pretty much the video when it comes to ready or not. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are because I'm going to end the video right here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like ready or not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that I decide to cover. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon and hop on that drop button. Send a thank you in the comments. I'm always making videos. With that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.